Hello Randolph Raiders, this is Miss Grayboys, your IB Vanek coordinator here to discuss our 2018-2019 community project season. Eighth grade students, this is part of your expectations as an IB Raider, and we're going to follow through with a little bit of what the project is, what the IBO or the International Baccalaureate Organization wishes to see, and how it functions at Randolph. Let's get started. So what is the community project? This is a program established to support our community through the service is action or services action program it is focused on our community as a whole so it could be in the charlotte mecklenburg area or it could be at randolph depending on what your topic entails and it supports the requirements for exiting a year three program which is your eighth grade year and cms magnet program requirements of completing your service elements our goal is to provide students with the opportunity to develop their knowledge and attitude and skills in order to manage a self-directed project in 10th grade as a middle years program exit project. All IB students will be required to complete the personal project, which is the community project on a much more individualized level. So this is to prepare you for this. We also want to give you the opportunity to practice communicating in different ways and to demonstrate responsible action. So why is the community project important to you? Well, first of all, we want to make a change in our community. and We want you to determine areas of need in our community and how you as a student can support that need. This is also a lot of choice. You will find a lot of topics that you can choose from in order to focus your community project on. This is a continuation requirement for the IB program. If you intend to do IB in high school, this needs to be completed. This is also your third required service activity for eighth grade students in your year three expectations. So not only does this help you continue to your IB high school, but also closes out your eighth grade continuation requirements. Again, all of these are part of Randolph and IB CMS requirements for continuation and positive completion of your eighth grade year. So what does it look like? What's the format? So everyone will be working on the community project throughout the spring, beginning in January and concluding in March. All eighth grade RMS IB students will work in teams of four to seven and will be assigned a supervisor. That supervisor will be a guiding force, helping to facilitate the conversation and making sure that we're on track. There have been students in the past that wish to work independently. That's also something we are open to, but understand that we can only accept a small amount of independent projects. And if you are going to do an independent project before our first meeting in January, you have to come with a topic and proposal in mind to get started because this will be fully self-facilitated. You won't have an assigned supervisor that will be checking in with you as regularly as a team would. So when you're developing that proposal, double check the list of the wide range of over 50 topics we have available and make sure that if your topic truly does not fit into any of those projects, then it would be an independent project and you would be working independently. But again, most students will be working in teams of four to seven with a supervisor. So student teams, you're gonna investigate and design a plan of action in order to make a positive impact. All materials are submitted through Google Drive. So you will receive a folder or a Canvas course or a Google Classroom course from your supervisor where all materials are available and every meeting is guided by one Google document. That Google Doc kind of guides you through a conversation of what needs to be completed in order to, in a timely manner, move through the project and provide a guiding force. At the very end, at your last meeting, you will take all those Google documents you've been working on to create a community project showcase presentation where if you've completed all those documents, the required elements of your presentation are listed in those documents and your community project team will present to sixth and seventh grade students. So how do you pick your team? Next week on December 5th, the community project top topic list will be available. It will be posted on the Services Action webpage under a new tab titled Community Project, and all the topics with a brief explanation will be listed for you to view. Pick your top three to five. And I say three to five because oftentimes when people are registering for their topic, it could disappear. The way the form is set up is that once topic groups are at their max capacity, there's no longer the ability to register for that topic. So having your first, second, and third choice readily available that you would be equally happy with is always a benefit to you so you don't have to um, rescan and rechoose in the middle of trying to pick your topic out. 
please understand that if you want to work with a peer group or one of your peers on a certain topic, collaborate on what that topic would be and pick the same maybe first and second choice and hopefully you guys can be in the same group. But once you register, changes will be very limited. So again, we can't just change because, oh, my friend's working here or I want to work with this person. We're really picking based on the topic. So if you want to work collaboratively, chat with your friends, chat with your peer group, see what they're interested in, make those decisions, and hopefully space will be allowed. Once registration is closed, changes will be very limited and only on an emergency basis if needed. December 10th through the 14th is when the sign-up sheet will become available. So on Monday, December 10th at 8.45 a.m., I will release the Google form, which is the Community Project Topic sign-up, will be on that Services Action website under the Community Projects tab. Every student in 8th grade will need to register at some point that week <clears throat> for the topic that they're interested in. And once you register, you're done. Um, if you are absent or your registration didn't go through, I will speak with you before the holiday break, hopefully, and we can rectify any technological issues or maybe um, you just forgot to complete it. We'll make sure that before you go on break that you are registered for a topic. So the next time you'll get together for Community Project will be that first teamwork time. So approximately every other week or twice a month, You'll meet from about 9.20 to 10.10 in the morning to work with your supervisor in their classroom or their assigned meeting location and your student team for your community project, and you'll work on that assigned Google Doc that we discussed. Make sure we're completing those documents as needed and as we're working through this community project season so we can really support our showcase at the end and complete amazing projects. So again, you will be provided time, but additional time outside of school hours will be required. What do you submit to your um, supervisor? So those community project documents, they'll be looking to make sure that they're completed and that you are following through in all the action steps that you are working on. We will not be using any paper copies. We're trying to be responsible for our environment, so everything will be done digitally. So make sure you're treasuring your Chromebook and treating it well so you have it for your community project meetings. At your final community project meeting, all students will be able to turn in, their 8th grade students can turn in a supervisor form for services action to their supervisor for the community project as this is your third required service activity. So you're going to turn that in and um, get it back shortly after so you can submit your third required service activity. So the only hard copy or paper copy is that supervisor signature for services action. Otherwise, we're working completely on Google Documents. So for next week, a couple of things coming. Let's be very, very clear on what's going on. On the 5th, the topic list will be available. So you can see topics in a brief description. You're going to pick your top um, three to five options, preview all those topics, decide what you're really interested in, and pick what excites you. What do you really want to work on this year? The following week, December 10th at 8.45 a.m., the document will be released. The community project sign-up form will be released, and it will close at 4 o'clock on December 14th. If you already know you're not going to be in school that whole week or um, you might need help navigating it, please contact me or your homeroom teacher and we can work it out. The next time you'll be hearing about Community Project is January 11th. That will be our first teamwork time meeting. At that meeting, every student receives a hall pass on their topic and where to go meet, and that's when we'll get started, so be prepared. All right, Randolph Raiders, so we've talked about the goals of the Community Project the format and the key people, as well as the organization of community project topics, teams, and how we submit our materials through the Google Drive. So as we're preparing for the community project, remember next week on December 5th, you can see the topic list. So pick out your top three to five. And the following week, beginning on December 10th, will be registration week. So be sure to pick your top choice for what you would like to work on for the spring. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm also located in the main office. Be sure to have a pass at an appropriate time during the day. I'm looking forward to seeing some great community projects this year from our 8th grade class. Best of luck and go Raiders!